It's going. We are live. Hello, hello, folks. Uh, thank you so very much for joining us. We are not stressed out at all. We're just a little bit late, but that's kind of normal. <laughs> thank you guys for popping on. My name's Veronica from Chasing Sunshine by Veronica, and you guys are tuned into 30 Days of Live. So, my very good friend, Miss Melanie Mel, I met her at boot camp, trying to get used to this camera situation. And she challenged me to go live for 30 days straight. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm a procrastinator and I'm trying to make this YouTube thing real and rock, rock what you got, right? So with that said, I have my beautiful friend Autumn right next to me, right over yeah. here. Look at that. Woo, I did it right. <laughs> so we are here and we are Gonna just chat with you guys. Um, Miss Autumn is from Island Heart Vintage out of Washington, and we got to meet each other at boot camp with Miss Debbie Beard herself in Encinita, California. So, with that said, the objective for today is to just get to know each other and get to know you guys and get our faces out there. We're trying to grow our YouTube channels. That's my number one objective is to grow my YouTube channel and to be part of this huge family of the creative network on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, do you, pardon me guys, do you have the volume turned down on your laptop? Look at that, Mama Bear I Blue. I just turned the laptop on. Oh, do you hear yeah, that echoing? I had, it, I had it turned on. So. Okay. Yeah. Is it okay now? No, it's not. So Is it okay? maybe just turn it off. I want to read comments, so I'm just bringing reckon. this up here. We've got Dennis. We've got Casey. Hey, Miss Casey. Casey. Taking up too much bandwidth, oh. huh? Oh, did you turn your thing off? Sorry, guys, a little bit of technical difficulty. We are figuring it out as we go. We're not complaining. We're just a little bit late, but that's pretty standard for me anyway. <laughs> I'm from Northern California, um, right, a true Northern California, right on the Oregon border, about 40 minutes from Oregon and um, in the beautiful mountains. And Miss Autumn, where are you from? Tell me a little bit about you, sweetheart. Did you turn your laptop off? Can you hear me? I did. I shut it down. Perfect. Romeo. Okay. So I can hear you. You're frozen, but I can hear you. Oh, I'm frozen. Okay. So with that <laughs> said, I'm going to turn my this other phone off so that I can get a little bit more bandwidth. And... Um, Autumn is going to introduce herself and tell us a little bit about you and how did you get into this community and why did you go to boot camp? Well, I started watching Debbie Beard on Debbie's Design Diary about eight years ago and started playing around with furniture and painting and creating and I just uh, really connected to all that and Anyway, I was kind of percolating for years, and I knew I would like to have that type of a business at some point. And back in December is when I finally got uh, a space, and I became a retailer. And Debbie, uh, COVID was loosening up, and Debbie was off the DIY YouTube video boot camp. Oh, there, Casey. Hey, Casey. Oh, we can see comments now. Hi, Mama. Bear. Anyway, um, it was really funny because we didn't know tickets would be until it went live. Sorry, my phone's turned up a little. Um, and so I already had my plane tickets and my room booked before I even know knew if I'd get a spot in the boot camp or Are you how much it was going to cost. I just knew I was going. Oh my so, yeah, gosh. Great. And that's where I got to meet Veronica and a lot of other great creators, all women. And I've got a lot of great new friends. And so here we are. It's awesome. Here we, 
Praise the Lord. Here we are. And so Miss Autumn, um, I, I met her brand new at boot camp. We were together for four days. We were in four different crews. Basically, we were structured. There was like 14 women and they had us broke up into four groups and we each had a crew leader and Autumn was not in my crew, but you know when you know and you know when you vibe and I just really love her spirit. She's just super kind and sweet and spunky and really delved into the whole video boot camp and just sunk her whole brain into it. Every time I looked at her, she was just like oh, thinking, 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 thinking. I could just see her old wheels are turning. And so she really took a advantage of the, um, advantage is that the right word? She really just grasped the opportunity <laughs> she had and was super inspiring. And at the very end, there was four days. On the fourth day, we had a thing. Am I shouting? Am I like shouting? Let me know if I'm shouting in the comments, guys. And so, oh, there's the color caboose. Woo woo. Hey, Miss Nelly Mal. And so, we basically, at the very end of boot camp, we, yes, at the very end of boot camp, we had an opportunity to try to sell everything that we created. And um, we had a market day, is what they called it. And so, you know, there wasn't a lot of people coming through, um, and um, there was some stuff sold. But, Autumn, did you fly there or did you drive to boot camp? Did you drive to yeah, boot camp or did there? I flew from Washington. She, okay, yeah. so she flew, she flew there, and, she, yeah. and her beautiful piece, um, gosh, I wish oh. I had the link to yeah, she flew to boot camp, and so on the and so at the end of the boot camp, she actually gave me the piece that she created. It is so amazing and so kind and so thankful. That's just her heart. That's that's Autumn right there. And so with that said, I just feel like, do you want to kind of jump into it and get going? And uh, Miss Casey is Autumn's lovely, beautiful daughter. I got to meet her. She got to come down to boot camp for a couple of days. And she's going to be posting links and um, kind of answering comments, the, the answers, the questions that she can answer. She'll be, um, you know, answering them. So with that said, I'm going to jump into my project and get set up here for a little minute. And do you have anything else to say, Autumn? No, I just... Uh... I'm really glad you invited me to go live with you. I don't want to miss any opportunities. And I love that we get to get to know each other better instead of just it ending in California. So I'm just really thankful and excited to ha be hanging out with you. Yeah, me too. Thank you, sweetheart. Me too. And Autumn is a so really Do you want me to tell them what I'm doing? Yeah, tell them what you're doing. Keep me on track, girl, because I'm like a go in the weeds. <laughs> Um, well, okay. Well, I've got this really cool chair here. And uh, I painted it. It was all natural wood. It's very old, but very sturdy. It's not super large, but it's not a kid sized chair. So I painted it with old school and I painted some of it with beadboard. And I just got into some uh, Jamie Ray Vintage and Roy Cycle decoupage paper. Ooh. So I'm basically copying something I saw on Roy Cycle. And I'm going to decoupage the chair with this paper. That's what I'm doing. Right on. What kind of medium okay. are you going to use? What, what are you going to What are you going to use to decoupage it on, um, with? Flicko patina? Well, it's it's a funny story because I'm a DIY paint retailer, but I didn't know, I didn't plan. Well, I, I didn't know I was going to become a decoupage paper retailer as well. So I have a ton of big top. Nice. But uh, liquid patina is the uh, secret sauce for, for this. And I hardly have any. So I'm going to use up my, I'm going to mix a little big top in with my liquid patina. And that's what I'm going to be using. It was funny also because when I ordered the decoupage paper, I had put in a paint order, but I didn't mm -hmm. order more liquid patina. And then somebody started buying it up. So, oh man. Yeah, DIY paint is really hard to get your hands on. Now that I'm a retailer, um, it, it takes a long time. It's in such high demand that if, if you're able to get it, you better get it while you can because it's it's in high demand, like I said, and it takes a very long time for us retailers to get it because of that. And so 
Um, yeah. And so the cool thing about the liquid patina is that, and the big top is they're both made by the same line, the DIY paint line. And so they're compatible with each other. So you, you can just mix and match and, and, uh, do that. So, um, Miss is autumn is a retailer. So, um, if you're interested in ordering any of the stuff that we show tonight, we'll let you know what product line it comes from. And you can just go over to Island Heart Vintage and uh buy it from her and so um maybe let's see i don't have that link so nope that's not it nope 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 comments casey maybe you could post your mama's um website it's on com. it's cool okay yeah but just go ahead and post it up there sweetheart if you have time okay so i'm gonna get started too and i got this handy dandy Big old mama jama. It's actually not that big, but I'm kind of zoomed into it. So this cute little side table that I got here, I got for ten bucks, and it's pretty beat up on the top, but that's even better because you can get it for less, right? I'm really excited. So I just basically took some Dawn dish soap and water and cleaned it down just a little bit, um, and I'm going to start with the DIY little black dress and um give it a quick coat of that so yeah so do you have a topic that you want to like talk about or ask the ask our folks that are watching uh well i did want to share something that i learned today okay while i'm cutting up this fur i'm going to start on the seat but what happened today was i had never used oh, i didn't leave the can out here so we have a product called Salvation Solution, and it's a seal in like when you're going to get bleed through on an older piece, or you just want to seal a piece. A lot of times people use the black, which I've used in the past, but I did purchase some Salvation Solution. And when I painted this chair, there was bleed through everywhere. It was a hot mess. So uh -oh. I got out my Salvation Solution, and I painted it this morning because I... Anyway, so I put it on and I did ask a question in the DIY creative group about how long you need to let it dry. But um, anyway, I didn't have that much time. So I let it dry about an hour and then I painted over it with again, the old school. And it actually turned out really good. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that way that product is performing at this minute. Um, Hi. so anyway, I put a little bit more on it and, uh, it really works well. Right on. That is you do a project and you end up having to repaint. Yes. So yeah, I know. I'm cutting my paper. I kind of know where I want to start. So I'll start doing that. And... Okay. Yeah, that's a great tip. I mean, I feel like more than not, I definitely just start like I'm doing right now as we speak. I just start painting. And then if there's bleed through, I go back. So it is kind of wasteful in some aspect, but but sometimes it's not. I don't think because it doesn't bleed through everywhere, right? And so you don't want to um, use a bunch of that if you don't have to. I mean, that's how I like it. But yeah, I don't know. Here nor there. So um, yeah. this is kind of like an old outdated. I didn't have to. What? I didn't hear you. Oh, I said I didn't really have a plan B. So when I got the, oh, I did not have a plan B as far as okay. live tonight. Oh, right. So when I uh, got the bleed through, I was just still needed to make it work. So right on. Uh you did it yeah this paper's really really cool it's called grunge numbers and i just uh, the products just went live on my website so there yeah, that is. and i want to say thank you veronica because she was my first she was my first roy cycle purchase on my website since i posted that. so Aww, thanks for supporting welcome. me of course no problem we gotta support each other and and all of us have you know different lines of, of product that we sell for instance yeah. you, you sell the iron orchid design i do not i sell redesign prima 
And so, you know, uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to use um, the, her, the um, uh -huh. Iron Orchid products because I actually I love them. I'm just not a retailer for them. So, so I feel like we could just all work together. You know, there's there's hundreds of millions of people in the world. Yeah. So. <laughs> Everyone likes something a little different, but um, I guess we can explain retailers to folks that are on that don't know. So basically, um, myself, I'll just speak for myself. Um, I am a retailer for the Sweet Pickens Milk Paint line and the DIY Clay Base Paint and a JB Re Vintage. Um, I signed up to be a retailer for all of her stuff, her woods, her stencils, her decoupage paper. But at the moment, you know, um, um, Jeremy and I are just starting our business. And so it costs a lot of money to invest in these lines because your first order has to be like, you know, a minimum of what, six, eight, um, sixteen hundred dollars. They're all different. And so it takes a lot of money. And so when you're first starting off and you're investing in all the lines, you got kind of got to pick and choose what you get, what you invest in. So we do not have any of Jamie's Woods products or we don't have any of her, um, her beauty line. Do you have any of that stuff? Autumn? No, I'm just going with mostly stencils. And then I have uh, about four or five of her papers. My new booth has very little space in it, so I'm just starting off with what I can fit in the space. Gotcha. Yeah. But so I got a lot of stencils. I got about 20 stencils. 20 of each? No. Well, I know. I, I got know. like two to four of each. See, I don't know. I'm brand new. No, I'm not people. there yet. I'm not there either, so I get we'll all get stressed there. out because we'll I, get there, girl, I order like one. Two to three of each. Is that bad? Is that bad? Oh, are you? You're freezing up just a little bit. I might be too. No, so. that's not bad at all. We need to be wise with our money. And no, it's not bad. Okay. It's Thank great. You. Well, Miss. And his companies support us. Yeah. And so the thing of it is, guys, if you're watching and you're interested okay. in these products that we're that we are using tonight, um, we do. How's it looking? This here, it's looking real good. It's like almost what? coloring. It's little black dress and the clay paint. Um, <laughs> what? You can't open it. <laughs> Warm water, maybe. Um, so what I'm saying is, these lines of products that we sell. You can't get any of them, I think, except for the redesign with Prima. I feel like you can get that on Etsy and got maybe it. even on Amazon. Got it. Huh? I got it. Okay. And even on Amazon, I feel like you can order okay. a redesign with Prima. But all the other lines of product, um, I don't know about Roy Cycle because I don't know her products very well. But you can't just buy them at the big box stores. You can't buy them uh, on Amazon. You have to go through like a small retailer or in, like in their booth or online. And so what I recommend you folks doing, if you're interested in purchasing any of these products we're using tonight is go to the line. So say you're interested in the DIY paint, you go to DIY.com, DIY paint.com. And then within there, there's a little um, zip code finder. So you enter the zip code in which you live and it'll tell you the closest retailer to you. Because oftentimes, especially um, because of COVID, you're unable to get products where they're short and it's it's super hard to get get stuff. For instance, the Sweet Pickens Milk Paint that, that I sell. And also, um, you sell that too, right, Autumn? No. Not me. Oh, you don't? I don't. Okay. So the Sweet Pickens Milk Paint, it's an old-fashioned true milk paint. And um, they there's a product that goes along with it called um, Extra Bond. And what that does is it actually makes the paint um, not chip off as much. And so we'll talk about that in another video. But we, they can't even get it right now because they get it from a different country. And because of COVID, evidently, I just, I just found out this today. I was talking to Sweet Pickens, and they said that, the factory that they buy it from keeps opening and closing because of COVID, even still in that country. And so they're not able to get extra bond. They just can't get it. So they've been they've been trying a whole bunch of different um, products from different 
vendors that, that make that type of product and they just have not been happy with it or found what they're looking for. And so at the moment, nobody can get extra bond. She said that when they do finally, hopefully get it shipped over from wherever they get it from, they're going to buy like, I don't know, four or five barrels, like 55 gallon barrels of it. But anyway, um, so yeah, I was just kind of filling you guys in on um, small business, uh, the way it works and stuff. And Miss Mama Bear Blue that's on here, she, uh, Lynn, she actually was at boot camp too and is a small business and sells all this product as well. So like I said, if you guys are interested, we've got five people watching and one heart and on the replay, if you guys are interested in ordering this product, again, go to islandheartvintage.com, purchase your product, and or find the closest retailer to you. Um, so this is my first time using a little black dress. It's one of your favorite colors, huh? Is it one of your favorite colors? Yeah. Autumn loves this. That's why I'm kind of using it, I think. <laughs> You've inspired me, girl. I can't wait to get that what are you stamp. Doing? You're gonna do it. So I'm gonna. I'm I giving it. I can't wait. It's so beautiful. Um. So I'm just gonna give it a coat of black, a couple coats of black, and then I'm going to put some um, redesign cream on. Um, stencils, not stencils. Um, stamps and decoupage, stamps and transfers. There you go on it and then i'm going to sand the top and so uh i'll do that maybe tomorrow and um, leave it wood kind of like what you did essentially but not not exactly but you've inspired me for sure What's um, your new no, um, I was going to use a redesign with Prima one. So tell them that your honey got you a new Oh, yes. I'll show you what my honey got me for my birthday. No, your sander. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's right here. Look what I got from my birthday. Woo I'm so excited. It is a cordless DeWalt orbital sander so sweet and he ordered me like a hundred sanding discs and they're coming in the mail and a charger and a battery he got me the whole shebang so thankful yeah i'm pretty excited about that so tell me a little bit about your business autumn as far as like what's new um yeah what's new and such well a couple of things are going on. My antique booth that I've been in since December is actually closing. One of oh, the biggest wow. ones in Seattle. And oh, um, I found a small space in Puyallup, which is good. And uh, it's just, uh, I watched a video by Melissa Morrow the other night yeah and it was eye-opening talked about she gave she loves algebra and she oh, yeah? told us a formula so that we can figure out how much we need to sell in a month in order to not be paying our antique malls over 25 percent and it was eye-opening and it made me you know i'm thankful for what i have and it's made me realize that there's things I can be doing to develop my business and create more business that isn't going to cost me as much. Huh. I mean, we need to have a brick and mortar to be retailers, but it was eye-opening. It, it gave me a whole new perspective. But I'm so really what are you excited gonna about getting into decoupage. We're going to be having... Uh, huh? I said, what are you going to be doing? What changes are you going to make? We're going to be doing a, um, a, like a, a decoupage boot camp, but it's going to be mm -hmm. online. And so people can learn more about how to decoupage. And not just on furniture, but on small things. Because not everybody wants to do it on furniture. So who's doing the boot camp? And, uh, yeah, I'm just excited about learning more about decoupage and 
keep developing my business and I love connecting with people. Yeah. Royce, um, I recycled. Who's it's doing the boot really camp? Fun. It's going to be two hours for six hours. When is it going to be? For six hours. Then we're going to do a 12 days of Christmas Woo. in um, in September. Okay. So it's like for 12 days, we'll be doing like crafts and gifts. How much is it going to be? Uh, how far? This is looking good. So that's on wood, right? That decoupage paper is on that decoupage paper's on wood, right? So yeah, because yeah. I want to learn more. I'm very new to decoupage, so it's not going to be expensive. She said it was only going to be like fifteen dollars or something. I'm not. I'm not. Huh? So tell me. Um. So you're gonna do it, and the uh, um tonight and Roy. This, Roy yeah, no. Roy cycled, and you are going to do the boot camp? all kinds of things with it, so I need to learn. Oh, I love you too, Miss Rose Lynn. How are you? My sister, Miss Lynn, is on. And thank you for coming back. I appreciate it so very much. Um, what I'm getting ready to do is I am taking... Yeah, I don't know how it's all going to work. Um... Well, I, as soon as you do know, how are you going to let people know? Autumn? Miss Autumn? Can you hear me? As soon as you do find out um, all the details, how are you going to let folks know on Facebook or YouTube? Yeah, on both. Well, mostly Facebook because I'm on there more, but. Can you hear me? Okay, nice. So I'm gonna start sampling the inside of this door, this drawer. Um, this is a really beautiful stamp from, this is from Redesign with Prima. And those are all the images that you can um, use or create with this stamp. And I'm going to take this little guy right here and try to put some copper, ink on it and do the inside of the drawer. So I'm gonna focus you guys down there. Okay, so what I've learned about um, drawers and when you wanna embellish the sides of them, so this is the front and this is the side of the drawer. Um, you need to make sure that the drawer is setting up straight because I've 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 done it before where I did it you know upside down or whatever it might be. So just get the orientation of the drawer the way that you want it, and you get your little handy dandy stamp. And I'm not super Thank good at point. stamping, but <laughs> but you are. So if you have any tips, you just let me know. But what I'm doing is I'm taking this clip-on ink pad with copper that you could get from um, Redesign with Prima. And I'm just going along the stamp and making sure that it's completely covered with ink. Um, I've, I've, I've learned that you don't want to get it too soupy. It just depends on the look that you want. But I don't like it really soupy because then it smears and smudges and all that good stuff, bad stuff. So what I like to do is I like to get the ink on there good, nice and good. And then I take something and I kind of basically offload just a little bit, just a wham bam, thank you ma'am, get some some off like that. And then you line it up in the direction that you want it. And once you get it, once you set it down, like right there, I set it down on that side, set it down on that side, there's no moving it, you cannot move it. So then you just tickle it like you do uh, when you're planting plants, you just gotta tickle the roots, tickle the roots. Make sure you go all over and then you don't want to um, move this at all. So it's pretty straightforward basic, but it can be messed up pretty easily. Just tickle it, tickle it, tickle it, tickle it, tickle it, tickle it. This is like nice oak. Can't believe I got it for 10 bucks. Really excited about that. Okay, I feel like I got it pretty good. And then you wanna lift off 
easily too. And so I, it's kind of a little wide over here. So I'm going to be brave and try and go over that area again. I'm going to put a little more ink on there. Okay. And I'm going to go over it again. So I'm going, for, I'm going to go for the distressed look. So if it, if it looks a little, if it's not quite exactly lined up, it's not a huge old deal. Okay. Oh, forgot the front sweat. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. I'm trying to get the orientation. And so it's copper. The lighting's not the best in here, but it's definitely shivery and beautiful. And it just adds a little bit of embellishment to the drawer. So when you open it, you got a cute little peekaboo. Um, so I did a live about four days ago. That's real. Well, thank you. I did a live with Miss Melanie from the Color Caboose about four days ago, and um, she's just growing her YouTube channel as well. I think all of us are pretty much. Do you have? Are you just starting your YouTube channel, Autumn? I love that. Yeah. It's really pretty. Um, are you just starting your YouTube channel or have you done been going for a while? Oh, I miss Debbie. A while back. I have about six, I think. Oh. Yeah, my friend. Nice. Can you see comments on your side, Autumn? What a steal. Yeah, I know, I Casey. Oh, good. So my friend, Miss Debbie Jacobson, she's watching. She um, used to babysit my eldest child. So I'm going to tell you guys a little story. It goes like this. Aww. So when I, was, <laughs> when I was 15, I got pregnant. I'm going to show you guys my face. And I had a baby. I live in a very, very small community, uh, just under 1,000 people. Can you hear me okay? It's a little, it sounded a little scratchy back there, but anyway, so I got pregnant and I went to Happy Camp High School and um, the principal of the school, his wife, the janitor's wife, the school bus driver, they all opened a daycare on campus for me. And then my friend Lynn as well, my sister Lynn, they opened a daycare on campus for us so that we could, could continue to go to school. And, um, if they hadn't done that, who knows where I'd be today because I basically, I'm getting all emotional. I love my Miss Debbie. Anyway, they really changed my life and um, are super amazing people. And that's my little story about Aww. Debbie. <laughs> yeah, praise the Lord. I was able to continue to go to school. And then um, myself, my, I had Craig my freshman year. And so um, I was only able to go to school half a day because they can only – they could only uh, babysit for half a day till noon. So that summer I made up the rest of my school year and I was still able to graduate with my class and it was pretty amazing. And the same situation for Miss Rosalind who's on here. Aww. Yeah, those ladies were amazing. They helped us out. Love you, Miss Debbie. Anyway, so this is what that looks like there. And it's so fun, you guys. These stencils. Um, oh, are that's so pretty. pretty. Thank you. Yours is coming along great, too. How's it holding down? That's a silly question. How you doing over there, Missy? <laughs> it's doing really, really well. Good. It's doing good. I'm uh, just trying to figure out how to go over the top because it's a curved space. Uh-huh. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Trying to keep it right side up. Yeah, yeah. So these stencils I feel like are made for like furniture creators. Um, here's a beautiful example of um, Mama Bear Blue. Oh, I wish I had a picture of your, your piece that you did, Lynn, when you were at boot camp. Um, she did a Moroccan kind of similar to this, I think. No, nah, it wasn't similar to that, but it was super beautiful. So these, these stamps cost anywhere between, um, $28 and $39. Um, so they're a little bit expensive, but they come like there's so many components to this. For instance. So with this one, you get this. 
one, you get, I cut them all apart and, and and I keep a little bit of the plastic on the back so that I can grab a hold of them. So they, they come with, this one comes with like seven different pieces and they all can go together and they all can go separate, whatever you want to do. But my point is, is that it's a, it's an investment and you can use them forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So the way I started my collection is one piece at a time, one piece at a time. Oh, we got some likes and love you bunches. Lenny too. Oh, how's my, how many kiddos do you have? Keep... What? So, um, Casey, I have three babies. I have my eldest just turned 30 this year, this month. My middle child, Miss Miranda, is um, 22. I she said I love the stamps because you can keep reusing them. They're really good. Yeah. Yeah. I sell Redesign with Prima and um, Alden sells Iron Orchid Design. And they're all different. All glorious. So I have three, three children, two boys and one girl, Miss Casey. My youngest is going to be 21 next month. How many children do you have, Autumn? You have three, right? Two. Oh, you have two girls? Yeah, just, I thought you had a boy. No, just I two guess girls I'm, and two son-in-laws. That's right. I was thinking Jonathan was your son, but he's your son-in-law. No, is that Casey? Is that your husband? Yeah. Jonathan, oh, he's helping me with my website. I'm hoping, give him a little squeeze, Casey. I'm seeing if he'll do a Zoom meeting with me so we can just get dialed and on the same page. I basically have no idea what I'm doing. I've been at, this is what, Casey, I'm gonna tell you, okay. So I added a bunch of products, I added all my products, and for some reason I'm unable to put them in collections. Like, um, you know, the, the right-hand toolbar, it, it clearly says, you know, the tags that you wanna put in there the the collections you want to put them in and for some reason they're not going into the proper collections and so i think jonathan got in there and actually started working on that for me but now i got in there last night and it's all messed up again so that's my biggest issue i don't know what the heck i'm doing anyway uh, it's so frustrating okay so my yeah, first casey not married to Casey, is... Casey I... isn't married to Jonathan. Oh. That's my other daughter. Oh, you tell him anyway, Casey. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Man, I'm such a silly one. So <laughs> you, keep, you keep breaking in and out. <laughs> Um, and it's probably I my, know, I think me and you have a lag because oh. my husband will come out and say, can you, oh, probably. How is your okay. internet there? We'll just keep going. Okay. We'll just keep going. All right. So anyway, I already put, Hey, uh, what kind of furniture? Okay. So miss the miss Melanie from the color Gaboo says, what kind of furniture is your favorite to work on? So I'll answer the first question. And my favorite kind of furniture to work on is anything with embellishments, anything that has a lot of detail. Um, I, I feel like I want to call it like European or, um, like Italian, like an Italian kitchen, nice and rich and, and um, I love wood tones, honestly, but um, as far as the embellishment goes, yeah, that's what I like. Anything with curves, um, that's what I like. What do you like, Autumn? Um, so Miss Melanie says, what kind of furniture is your favorite to work on? Oh, gosh. I like a lot of different things. Um, you know, for a while, I absolutely love that bohemia stamp so i love the wood with yeah i'll like have to go get it front all wood pieces a lot okay and then i loved that little Mex that mexican piece i just finished i i love that i do I too like mexican motif and I don't know. There's a lot of different things, you know. It's I not always the same. 
Do, do you like bright colors or more muted earth tones? I like stuff that doesn't smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have a product that actually helps pre um, block that smell? <laughs> do you? Do I have a what? A product that um, blocks that. If you do get like a piece of furniture that smells like cigarettes or. I want to show you guys what's going on here because it's this curved. Uh huh. I, I used a water brush to cut the paper. So this is kind of like pieced together. But I think it's working. Nice. Yeah, that's an awesome technique. I like to do that too. I learned it. Did sorry, Marilyn... the Salvation Solution will do the trick. Oh, okay. Salvation Solution. So we're lucky we have that product available to us. Yeah. So now I'm going to need to cut in this little spot and that little spot. This is the product that she's talking about right here. It's called Salvation Solution. And they, it comes in either white or clear. And it's a stain blocker. So it blocks stain, yep. bleed through. It blocks Crayola markers. It blocks smells. It's really good stuff. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, Let's see, are there any more comments? Hello, Miss Sandra. She's my sister too. Oh, Sandra. How are you, sweetheart? Thank you for jumping on. Thank you, thank you. Wow, you can wanna see. I love you and I miss you so very much. How are all my babies doing? Babies with babies, huh? So Sandra and Lynn are sisters biological sisters we're all all sisters we all grew up in the same trailer park and i got another funny story so lynn um are you older than my sister kim so anyway so there was um there well there was sandra sandra's the oldest sorry sandra <laughs> and then it goes then it goes lynn then it goes kim then it goes me and it might be, go anyway whatever so so my sister um, had her first child May 12th of 91. Lynn had her daughter, her first child, June 12th of 91. And I had my first child, Craig, July 12th of 91. What were we doing? I blame it on you girls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what I always say. I hung out with the older girls. That's really funny. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Does Casey have any babies? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. My, my daughter just had her first child. Um, almost four months ago and then my oh, son my has two daughters my eldest son has two daughters i'm a grandmama of three uh-huh yeah okay wow so, awesome yeah um yeah so Going back to Miss um, Ella, <laughs> that's my story. That is my story. <laughs> that's your story. I love it. Oh, so your your only son graduates this year, Melanie? Are you so nervous or are you excited? <laughs> okay. So Miss Melanie, who's um, speaking to us now from the Claire Caboose, we were all sisters at the camp. She um, challenged me yesterday. We were talking on the phone, and she challenged me to go live for 30 days in a row, and um, I'm doing it. So this is day one, and any of my other um, friends 
well, that would like to go live with me um, throughout this, this whole month. Starting today, I would really, really love it. It's so much better to go live with friends. Don't you agree, Autumn? <laughs> okay. Is so, Melanie going to go live for 30 days also? Yeah. No. Is Melanie going to go has, live? No, she has committed, though, to go and live. Um, once, we can do it once a week. Once a week together. Okay. You're on. So today is Thursday. You just want to stick with th or today is Wednesday. You want to stick with Wednesday? One week from today? Or let me know. Um, but she's gonna go live two days, two days a month. That's what she she um uh, signed on for. <laughs> I can do it once a week. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're on. We're doing it once a week. So. My objective is just to get on here and do a craft with you guys. Yeah, I think you guys. Yeah. Tuesday. 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 Okay. At what time? I can't hear you. I know we can't hear each other very well, but that's everybody else. That's good. Aww. Okay. I'm going to keep going. Yeah. Yeah, Casey um, posted and said you should dare Miss Autumn to go. So Tuesday. thank you for that, Casey. <laughs> seven. Your daughter. Okay, seven. Yeah, that sounds good. So I got my first coat on there. I've got my drawers done. I feel like I want to do something else to that, Autumn. What should I do? I bet you if I painted it and then put Let's that on, that would look better, huh? I bet if I painted it black, well, it would pop. Good. Yeah, but you got to remember, it's the side of the drawer. Right. You spend all your time on the side of the drawer. That's why I do them last. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. I was just getting ahead of myself, because I sometimes guess. Sometimes you can get so a little spot. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I mean, everybody's process is different, but... Focus on the major stuff, and then a lot of times I'll forget the drawer, and then I do it at the end really fast. Yeah, but yeah, dark colors show up better. You don't want to do it a bunch of times. Yeah, I um was gonna paint the back, and but you don't have to. It's a really good piece. I like it. Thank I you. My paper. So I was going to paint the back, but it's got some really super cool like um vintage markings on it and so i decided i did not want to cover that up i see something about it says three five zero zero made in new probably new mexico or new jersey or it says a french and held company h-e-l french and held company so that's a really good piece of furniture and um i'm just going to stop there with it tonight and set it aside <laughs> So I got two coats on it, that. And um, so we've been on here for 48 minutes, Miss Autumn. Um, do you feel like we should cut it short or what are you on your project? Yeah. Miss Autumn. So um, you're gonna do decoupage paper on those those next two. You want to get that done on camera. I can and keep I'll going on. for another ten minutes if you want to. Okay. So okay, yeah. I for mean, sure. I'm so not gonna, gonna finish, but no. Okay, so we're gonna go for another ten minutes, and I'm gonna start painting on something else while Autumn finishes that up. Uh, maybe that ten more on? minutes. Yeah, ten minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds good. Okay. So what I'm going to do, you guys, is I have this handy dandy. Um, it's just an old, got it for $2. And it's just an old a wall accessory, essentially. It's made out of plastic. The DIY clay-based paint sticks to pretty much anything. And um, I've got skeleton key on here. And I'm going to do a little stenciling real fast. How's that sound? Let's do it. Sounds very good. <laughs> Guess what I got? 
What? It's funny because uh, Veronica says she doesn't measure, and I've got like tape measures in every room. How funny. <laughs> Perfectionist, right? We're all different. I love it. We are all different. Yeah. Well, yeah, I just like measuring things. More than I need. Yeah, if you go onto the RoyCycle.com website, Royce did a chair somewhat like this, and that's where I got the inspiration. Okay. Casey says, she is a handy woman and a family. I don't know what we would do with that for um, skills. Let me here. I'll do it there. It's really hot here today. She is the it's handy it. woman of the family. Aww. Okay. So what am I going to try? But it's really great that you can use the liquid patina or the big top. They both really well. Or the yeah, that is pretty awesome. Okay. So I'm just going to use this stamp here, or this uh, stencil here. This is a JRV stencil. And I'm going to try and zoom in. There we go. My little space is really messy. This JRV number JRV number nine in the middle. What? This is a JRV number is nine. That the new brush? No, this is one of no, this is not a JRV. I'm sorry. This is a redesign with Prima. Oh, I have number nine. It's a redesign with Prima. You're right, because Jamie Ray Vintage was just in the middle of getting her. New I know it looks different. Out. Yeah. Jay Ray was in the middle of getting her yeah. new brush. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. The reason that I'm in the middle uh, is because if you see how big these letters are, and these yeah. are also big. So I thought it would be nice not to have the big letter numbers close to each other just to make it break it up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use old school in the DIY paint. I love old school. Me too. So when you're stenciling, you do not need a lot of paint. You just use this, what's in the lid. You take your stencil brush, you dab a dab a dab a dab a dab a, and then you got to offload. And all that means is just take it off. You put it on, you take it off. Put it on, take it off. And you um, want to make sure that all your bristles actually have the paint on it, but you don't want it to be soupy. You want it to just barely have any on there at all. And then you take your handy dandy stencil and just because I'm not a measurer, what I'm going to do is take the actual stencil. Boy, I'm going to put a little piece of tape on my little um, recorder there so that I can find it. And so I'm just going to take the edge of this and then go up to the edge of that. And that's how I'm doing it. That's my measuring. I'm going to kind of angle it up there. It almost, almost fits in there perfectly. Look at that. Okay. 
So you then I'm. Do, this, uh, do you ever do the swirling technique? You know, I, I don't, but I'm going to give it a whirl. And here we go. So what Autumn was speaking of with the swirling technique is you take your brush and instead of pouncing, which is like the standard way to do it, I don't you swirl. What? And so uh, Miss Melissa Morrow from, um, from the um, Rave Home Design or Vintage Bee Design is the is the master at stencils and this is her, uh, her technique essentially and Casey says um is she skipping the middle piece of the back of the chair um that may look good nope she's actually going to cover the whole, cover it all up and she's breaking up that decoupage paper there I'm not sure if you guys are hearing all of the um skipping that we're having we're having some technical difficulties tonight that's why we were late but um Good things come to those who wait. So here we are. <laughs> and then Lisa, is that how you say your name, Lisa? Thank you so very much for coming and popping on. We really appreciate you so very much. Um, we're doing, um, we're just hanging out and get to know each other, basically. And I'm doing a challenge that my girlfriend um, challenged me to do 30 days of live. So I'm going live 30 days in a row. And Miss um, Autumn, who is right here with me, is going to go on once a week with me. And that's what we're doing. So where are you from, Autumn? Or no, Lisa? I'm terrible at swirling. Are you? The technique does not work for me. I tried. I'm not good. It's not good. No. Well, we'll see how it turns I'm gonna out. I'm going to stick to pouncing. Pounce, pounce. <laughs> You're a pouncer, huh? Get her done. Just fine. I don't know. We'll see. Pouncer. It takes longer. Yeah. It takes longer. Well, the good thing about these stencils are they're so thick that um, if you hold it down really tight and you don't have you offload, more than not, they're going to turn out pretty okay. And Jamie Ray Vintage, so if you guys don't, I know that a lot of my folks that are on here, Kentucky, right on. thank you so much for jumping on, sweetheart. We're so thankful for you guys. We are just small little YouTubers over here and Facebookers that are trying to join the family. It's what we're doing. And uh, it's one of the main objectives of, of going to boot camp for me and coming live. So thank you. Um, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, Jamie. Yeah, I'll tell that story another time. Ta-da! It turned out okay. So pretty. Yeah, I like that. That turned out pretty all right. Oh, it looks great. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so I'm going to um, spray my stencil so it's wet. This is clay paint. It comes off really easy. And I'm just going to wipe it off because I want to put the same image on the other opposite side. So I'm going to have to flip the stencil over. And so, therefore, I have to wash this side and get the paint off. Like that there. So, Autumn, you lived in Hawaii yeah. for a long time. Did you live in Hawaii for a long time, or what's that story? Yeah, 25 years. I moved there on my 16th birthday by myself. Wow. And I lived there for years, yeah. It That's was a great super place cool. to be if you're a young age. Yeah. Did you uh, meet your husband there? Yep, I met him. He was in the service and he ended up uh, on Oahu and then he moved to the big island and then I met him on Maui through a mutual friend. <laughs> That's so awesome. And the girls, it's a great, it's a great place to have kids when they're little. Is it super? Clothing. Yeah. <laughs> Is it expensive? Yeah, it's pretty expensive, but, you know, it's kind of relative, and it's different now. Yeah. Like, there's hardly places to rent. 
even buy. It's uh, it's different. Do you have family there? But it was a good place to be at that. Yeah, yeah my wife. sister and my she he she has a dog and there's three kids in that family. Uh huh. So, yeah, my only sister's there. So you get to go back every once in a while. That's cool. Why did you move back here? Or why did you move here? And that's it. Do you like Washington pretty good? I'm here, here in the year 2000, and I'd never been here before. So wow. it was a pretty drastic. Yeah, I do. I would say you went from the summer. Yeah. There's a lot of water. A lot of water. Yeah. A paddle border and I grew up around the water, so I like that. How big is the community you live in? Yeah. I think it's about sixty thousand people. And we're about we're about twenty minutes from Seattle. Twenty minutes. That's and not bad at all. Oh, it's not bad. And there's a marina close by. And yeah, it's very pretty. Is it close to that place um, where they did the, the movie, um, the vampire movie? <laughs> no, you know that's way, way, way That's Twilight. Twilight. I love that show. I'm a teeny bopper at heart. Um, yeah. What was that? <laughs> what was that gonna say? Oh, the color. Oh, my daddy is still here. How are you, Mister? Let me show you guys how this turned out real fast before I bump it up. So there's the little stencil. Yay! And so I'm gonna do something in the oh. middle. Of it turned out pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it didn't turn out bad at all. Jewelry stencils are really super thick. And so it makes it pretty easy to do, but so it looks like my dad's on here. It says, I am so confused, but that's nothing. <laughs> well, oh, well, my dad's an artist, actually. He lives over on the I'm coast and he does. Guys, he does. Their home. The, there's kind of a lag between um, Autumn and I, so we're, we're not quite... Um, I don't know. We're doing just fine. But basically, we got a couple folks on here asking questions. And it says, um, I'm so curious on how you guys decorate your houses. What is your personal style? Well, <laughs> my style is light and airy. And I like a lot of whites and grays and um, fluffy, comfortable furniture. And um, that's the style that I have. Um, but my other half and I are actually remodeling. This is a little old barn. It's a little barn with really low ceilings and we are um, renovating it currently for a little home. So that's what we're doing. What's your style, Autumn? Well, I mean, I like color, but I've gone through a lot of different colors. My house used to be like a deep butter camel I know that makes no sense but it was like a deep gold color but now it's uh it's a color called sandy blonde it's kind of the color of this okay but I like a lot of color and I like Hawaiian stuff and maybe we can do a home tour next week <laughs> yeah that'd be fun home tour <laughs> yeah I like it we could do it Just I mean my... quickie. <laughs> a quickie we could do it for sure um what was I gonna say? Okay, so that was Miss um, Colored Caboose. Oh, and Auntie Lenny's going to Manai. No. Good night, Lynn. And this is um, this tray is simple but elegant. And then my dad says, "Look good, sunshine." Yeah. Um, whenever you're around me, you're gonna be confused. That's just how I roll. <laughs> I'm confusing in itself. <laughs> Aww. One thing I don't. don't home decorating yeah i'm not one of those people that does like summer fall and christmas and yeah. now that i'm in the business i'm like oh my gosh do i need to do all that i know right? i mean i'll do it some i mean but you know yeah people are just so into doing everything like 
Lynn's house is so gorgeous and she changes it. And yeah. I'm like, Maybe I should change something once in a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Her, her, her house is gorgeous. I love her home. Um, all right. Well, I feel like I'm just going to, how are you doing on your chair? Are you going to, are you decoupaging the middle one there? Or are you leaving it, leaving it white? I'm going to, I'll do it later. I don't need to do it oh. right now. Okay. But I'm just All right. almost washing, so. That looks great. I didn't realize you were I'll wrapping around the back. Let it dry. After it dries, I'll sand it off. I was going to wrap it under, and then I'm like, I don't need to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it that looks, was a little bit of a great. challenge. I had to figure out the best way to do that, but looks good. That looks really like good. It. it looks really, really there good, sweetheart. Is. Yes. Oh, I love it. Thank you. That's beautiful, sweetheart. Oh, Thank your you. daughter had a, your daughter Thank had an idea much. of leaving the middle one um, I, without decoupage paper, but anyway. Aw. So I guess we're going to end it there, you guys. Um, we really thank you so very much for popping on and supporting us in our journey. Um, and come back tomorrow and every day this month. I'm going to go live every day this month and just kind of get used to um, StreamYard and um, Facebook and YouTube. And, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then this um, – Autumn is going to come on with me next Thursday at 7 o'clock. So it's a date, and if you, I really hope you guys join us. What? And there's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. See Lisa's on? I do. I see Lisa it. Boone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Lisa. Aww. Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, okay. Tuesday. Pardon me, you guys. Next Tuesday at 7 o'clock, Autumn and I are going to go live again. So join us, please. And thank you so much, Casey, for um, dropping links and supporting us in our uh, adventure here. And we really thank you so very much. <laughs> Do you have anything else to Aloha. add? Aloha. Aloha. All right. Hi. All right. Thank Bye. you. Everyone. Thank you, Autumn, for jumping on and doing this with me. I thank you so very much. And you guys chase that sunshine, whatever that means for you. Bye.